happy morning students today we are going to do the continuation of the exercise 7.1 is the problem name the type of quadrilateral formed by the following points so he has given the first subdivision minus 1 comma minus 2 1 comma 0 Minus one comma two minus three comma zero. We want to find out what type of a quadrilateral and is formed by these points, and we have to give the reason for the answer. And second subdivision, it is given minus three comma five, three comma one, zero comma three, and minus one comma minus four. Third subdivision, four comma five, seven comma six, four comma three. And one comma two. Now we need to find out the distance for these given problem subdivision. Now coming to the first subdivision, he has given four points. We are naming that points as A as minus one comma minus two, B coordinate as one comma zero, C coordinate as minus one comma two. D coordinate as minus three comma zero. So with this four points, we are going to frame a quadrilateral, and we need to find out that what type of quadrilateral do these points form. So we are going to find the distance of AB, BC, CD, and DA, as well as we are going to see the diagonals AC and BD. Now coming to the a point minus one comma minus two, b coordinate one comma zero using the distance formula, a b is equal to square root of x two minus x one the whole square. So where x two is one, x one is minus one. So in the middle minus one of minus one becomes plus one. So I will have one plus one the whole square plus Y two minus y one the whole square. So my y two is zero. Y one is minus two. In between I have minus. So I will get zero minus of minus becomes plus zero plus two the whole square, which is equal to square root of two square plus two square, which is equal to four plus four, which is equal to root eight. Now similarly for BC, I have B coordinate one comma zero. C coordinate minus one comma two. So I to find BC distance, square root of x two minus x one the whole square plus y two minus y one the whole square. So I am substituting the values in this formula. I will get square root of minus two the whole square plus two the whole square, which is equal to square root of four plus four, which is equal to root eight. Now coming to CD. C coordinate minus one comma two, D coordinate minus three comma zero. So square root of x two minus x one the whole square plus y two minus y one the whole square. So substituting the points in the given formula, I will get square root of minus three plus one the whole square plus zero minus two the whole square. So which is equal to minus two the whole square plus two the whole square. So we get square root of four plus four, which is equal to square root of eight. Similarly, substituting for DA, I will get square root of minus one plus three the whole square plus minus two minus zero the whole square. So we get which is equal to root eight. So we find that AB distance equal to BC is equal to CD. C equal to DA. Now we want to check the diagonals AC and BD, where A coordinate is minus one, minus two. C coordinate is minus one, two. So we are finding a distance for AC, which is equal to square root of minus one plus one the whole square plus two. Minus of minus two, it becomes plus two the whole square. That is, I am using the formula x two minus x one the whole square. Plus y two minus y one the whole square. So minus one plus one in the beginning gets cancelled. I will have only two plus two the whole square, which is equal to four square. So I got square root of sixteen, which is equal to four. Now as similarly, we are substituting for BD distance. I will get square root of minus three minus one the whole square plus zero minus zero the whole square. 
which is equal to root 16 which is equal to 4. So here we find that AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA as well as the two diagonals are also equal in length. So we find that it is so it is clear that the given quadrilateral ABCD forms a square. Second subdivision we are taking the points A whose coordinate is minus 3 comma 5 B 3 comma 1 C 0 comma 3 and D minus 1 comma minus 4. As usual we are going to find the distance of AB, BC, CD and DA. So AB we are taking the coordinates minus 3 comma 5 as x1 y1 and B point 3 comma 1 as x2 y2. So AB distance minus 3 minus 3 the whole square plus 5 minus 1 the whole square. So which is equal to square root of 9 square plus 4 square square root of minus 6 the whole square plus 4 square so which is equal to root of 36 plus 16 so we get square root of 52 which is equal to square root of 4 into 13 taking the 4 outside the square root I will get 2 root 13 now coming to BC as usual x1 minus x2 or x2 minus x1 here I used x1 minus x2 so we get square root of 3 minus 0 the whole square plus 1 minus 3 the whole square. So we get square root of 3 minus 0 it's 3 square plus minus 2 the whole square. So we get 3 square plus minus 2 the whole square. So which is equal to square root of 9 plus 4 which is equal to root 13. Now coming to the CA distance. So we get square root of 0 minus of minus 3 it becomes plus 3 so the first case 0 plus 3 the whole square plus second one 3 minus 5 the whole square so which is equal to square root of 3 square plus the bracket minus 2 the whole square so it becomes square root of 9 plus 4 which is equal to root 13 we find that BC plus CA if you add root 13 plus root 13 it gives the result of AB which is equal to 2 root 13 so it remembers the collinearity condition that when you add the sum of any two sides if it gives the result of the third side then the points are said to be in collinear so from this case we find that A, B, C are in collinear that is lie on the same straight line so we cannot form a quadrilateral with the points A, B, C, D seventh problem find the point on the x axis which is equidistant from 2 comma minus 5 and 2 comma 9 now coming to the solution so he has given that a point uh, P which is plotted on the x-axis that is it lies on the x-axis so as we know that if the point uh, lies on the x-axis then its y coordinate becomes 0 so I am taking the point P as x comma 0 so in the problem it is given that P is at a equal distance from A and B so where A coordinate is 2 comma minus 5 and B coordinate is minus 2 comma 9. So I am going to relate this with an equation. Since P is at equal distance from A and B, I am going to use a relation PA distance equal to PB distance. So in order to remove the square root of the distance formula on both sides, PA square is equal to PB square. So in the figure I have shown where P is at an equal distance of A and B, I have drawn separately. We are going to find the PA distance and PB distance using the distance formula. So P point is 6 comma 0, A point is 2 comma minus 5. So we are using the distance formula. Since it is a square, the square root will be removed off. So I will be getting uh, 2 minus x the whole square plus minus 5 minus of 0 the whole square which is equal to pb distance so pb is equal to so p x comma 0 b point is minus 2 comma 9 
so I will get PB is equal to minus 2 minus 6 the whole square plus 9 minus 0 the whole square. So square root will be removed off since it is PB square. So now using the identities A minus B the whole square, I will get 2 minus x the whole square is equal to 4 plus x square minus of 2ab will be minus 4x plus the next bracket minus 5 minus 0 the whole square which becomes minus 5 the whole square so which is equal to plus 25. So I will have left hand side 4 plus x square minus 4x plus 25. On my right hand side if I expand minus 2 minus x the whole square using identities a minus b the whole square I will have 4 plus x square minus of minus 2x it becomes plus 2x. So using the formula a square plus 2ab plus b square and in the next bracket I will get plus 9 minus 0 the whole square which is nothing but 9 square so which is 81. So I will get the right hand side 4 plus x square plus 4x plus 81. Now bringing this plus x square on the right hand side to the left hand side it becomes minus x square. So plus x square minus x square gets cancelled and the right side plus 4x when it comes to the left side it becomes minus 4x. Already we have minus one more minus 4x on the left side. So minus 4x minus 4x it becomes minus 8x. So now we have left side 4 plus 25 which is nothing but 29. So bringing this 29 to the right side I will be getting 85 minus of 29. So 85 minus 29 which will be equal to 56. X is equal to 56 divided by minus 8. Now 8th question. Find the values of y for which the distance between the points 2 comma minus 3 and q 10 comma y is 10 units. So in this problem he has given the distance of pq is 10 units. We want to find out the unknown value y. So which is the y coordinate of q. Now coming to the solution we have p coordinate as 2 comma minus 3 q coordinate as 10 comma y and pq distance equal to 10 units. So now I am going to use the distance formula for pq to find out the unknown value y by equating pq is equal to 10. So now I have the distance formula square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. So substituting the values of x1, x2, y1, y2 I will get pq is equal to square root of 10 minus 2 the whole square plus y minus of minus 3 it becomes plus 3 so y plus 3 the whole square we are equating this to 10 so since my right hand side has a square root so i am going to square on both sides in order to remove the square root so expanding this i will be getting 8 squared as 64 plus y plus 3 the whole square i am going to use the identities so a square plus 2ab plus b square so i get y square plus 9 plus 6y is equal to 100 so now adding 64 plus 9 i get 73 so y square plus 60 6y plus 73 minus 100 is equal to 0 so simplifying i will get y square plus 6y minus 27 is equal to 0 so factorizing and bringing the common factors outside so i will be getting y minus 3 into y plus 9 is equal to 0 so y is equal to 3 or minus 9 practice this problem as a homework using distance formula